with us for so many years. This is how you pay us back? You shouldn't have done that. You know better. I find out everything. I promise I didn't do anything. Well, if it's so, and since you're so sure, it should still work, right? I swear it does. What the fuck are you doing? Are you undermining my authority? No, 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 I would never do that. How about I offer some samples and then, then all your fears will be laid to rest? Alright, try it. Definitely. Well, you have that. I don't want to spoil the moment. I wasn't thinking. I mean, I definitely need to call the cops, man. This isn't good. Well, what? Get arrested? Yeah, let me know why you don't have such a fucking retarded idea, you fucking retarded. Don't talk to me about great fucking ideas. You're the one who took the bag of coke. We can't just have it sitting there. If someone finds it, we're dead. So we snort it. This is unreal. Are you even sure that's coke? Don't know what we found out. Is that what you say? Bottoms up. Shitty me right now. You wanna try it? Go ahead, be my guest. Listen, are, are you okay? 
Do you need anything? Water, or tissue, no, or something? No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't even that much. Come on. Well, it looks like we can't snort this without dying or have it lying around, or else we get arrested. So we flush it. What if the toilet gets clogged? This powder is not gonna clog a fucking toilet, man. Come Listen, on. what if we just sell it and get our hands clean? The fuck are we gonna sell it so we don't know any drug dealers? We go to college, we gotta know someone who sells this shit. You know? I think I might know a guy. Yeah. You have the number? Yeah. Alright, call him up. Sure, this is a good idea? I really don't know. Alright. Fuck it. Yo, this is Collins. What's up? Yo, Colin, what's up, man? Nothing much, man. Hey, uh, hey, listen, uh, I was wondering if I could set a meeting with your boss. Whoa, man. You sure? What for? Uh, I found some drugs. You found some drugs? Yeah, I was walking on the street and there were just there. <laughs> man, you simply just don't find drugs out on the streets, you know? I'm oh, I just found them, man. I don't know. I, I was walking on the street, I saw them, and I took them. I don't know why I took them, but I took them anyways. So can you help me or not, man? You sure you want to do this? Yeah. What's the product? Coke. Coke. Okay, listen, look. I'll tell the boss, just come here. I'll send you the information, time and place, so you can negotiate the deal, all right? All right, I'll, I'll be there later today. I, I'll go with my friend Rufus. He was with me earlier. All right. All right. Don't be late. All right. Hey, what's up? Man, got a call from a client. A client? And what did they want? Sell us their product. Are they making their own products now? No, not anything like that. Colin, the head of the company, as you will, says that he and his partner Rufus found their B2B on the streets. On the streets? His words, not mine. Okay, and they want a distribution deal? Doubtful. Seems like this may be a one-time thing for them. Mm. All right, we'll have them meet up at your place in an hour. I'll be there shortly, and we'll see what happens. Will do. All right, bye. Oh, here we are. Nice place for your drug dealer. Yeah, I'm reading for the rat face pricks at the parking lot, but not this guy. Got anything on you? Let's see, is what you get, sir. <laughs> Easy, look out. Shut up. Glad to keep it thorough, huh? Really, this is what you fucking bring me? Like harassing people, huh? Thorough, huh? Hey, hey, hey. 
take it easy. Exactly. Right. I brought the stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. Come on. We're going to choose someone to shoot me because I know you. What the fuck is this? So you want to meet with the boss? That's my boss. I'm going before you piss her off. You're already late. Well, you're late. Yeah, no, we were just, you know, we were some trouble on the way with you. Just undermining my power? Well, she's the one questioning, not me. I mean, we're only late by a couple of seconds, so. So? A couple of seconds is still a unit of time. I'm somebody who doesn't like to waste their time, even if it's just a couple. I was just under the impression I'd be meeting with Lons. I mean, some breakup told me. You know, I came over here, I was gonna meet with the boss. Mm -hmm. well, so it's not me. Lons is just a low-level vendor. He recently got a promotion, so he's not a low-level vendor. We had that problem with the distributor, and we had to terminate him. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna get into specifics about it because it'll take too long, and we're already running late. So whatever you guys have for me better be good. Well, I, uh... There's something I thought might be of interest to you. And may I ask, what is it? It's coke. Where'd you find that? Well, we were walking from school. We found it by the river street. Uh, we found it by the river street. Uh, you freaked out and I slid your fucking eyes. It's okay, no, no. Here we go. Is there something in the bottom? And why would you bring this? this house? Uh, well, you see, the buddy Rufus over here had the brilliant idea of uh, finding a leader and then you sort of go from chemistry class and we talked and here we are, I'm trying to sell you this coat. So we'll, we'll just take $50 each and, you know, be in our way, we'll take a cash and, you know, why, why would I buy this from you? For all I know, you guys are just some competitors trying to fuck me over and ruin my reputation. So in our lives, we're not trying to ruin your enterprise or anything like that. Why would I even trust you? Look at that shit. That shit looks like talcum powder. Look, lady, I assure you this isn't no fucking talcum powder. Yeah, shut up! Shut up. Cervical! Yeah? These guys just offered us free coke. Try it. so we'll be taking the $50 each and going a longer way. Well, as you heard him just say, it's defective. That lowers the bar. Not so good. And on top of that, you guys showed up late. Not so good. I'm gonna have to give you guys $30 total. <laughs> you heard him. He said it works. It's $45 each. Hmm. I have to consider the fact that you guys went out of your way to bring this. That probably was a lot of trouble. $15 each. Final offer. You just went lower. Yeah, so did you. So? All right, forty dollars each. Final offer. Okay, that you want to hear my final offer? All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now, pull it to your head, okay? <laughs> or you walk away empty-handed. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, it does. It just doesn't seem very fair. Yeah. So what? You guys came here with the problem. We're here to offer a solution, okay? You know how I handle my problems? I terminate them. We could have easily terminated our business relationship with the both of you, but guess what? We're going against our better judgments and we're actually compromising with you guys, so be fucking thankful. You only had one fucking job, guys. Show up, deliver, get the fuck out. How hard is it? Or does a bullet to your head really have to do the job? I, I just, it's not fair, like, you know, it's not necessary to, you know, <laughs> it's not necessary 
<laughs> These guys. Oh my uh, god. Fuck, What's so funny? <laughs> oh, your reaction. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay, calm down. I'll pay you. You will? Yeah, of course. I mean, what kind of business person would I be if I didn't keep my end of the bargain? What was it again? Ten dollars? Uh, well, forty each, or forty in total. Actually, ten dollars <clears throat> sounds like a very generous amount. Okay. <laughs> we got our money, didn't we? All right, guys, stop the bitching. That's it. It's over. So Serpico is gonna give you guys your money in the living room. Just wait out there. Me and him are gonna have a business meeting beforehand. Got it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fucking pussies. <laughs> You do realize that that's... That's Dalton's failed investment. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I had my suspicions on him from the very beginning, all of which that you have confirmed from the way that you reacted to the sample testing. And that only goes to show that we have to do a better job at keeping confidential shit confidential. Yeah. Now, those two kids that just walked out remind me a lot of you when you first started out. Oh, so? Well, after your mom died, you started to do her jobs. You thought you could sell us back our products, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only difference was that at least you had intuition. You dispatched my business associate, your competition, and you showed me something very, very powerful back then. I had to respect that. Yeah, well, son of a bitch had it coming to him. Yes, he did have it coming to him, which is why it's a good reason you stayed low risk, even if you were to go rogue. Which I won't. No reason for that. Hell, look, I even changed my name for it. Mm hmm. That's right, you did. You owe me your loyalties. Isn't that right, Mr. Andre Zola? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm just making sure I'm not dying is all. Oh, but don't say that so half-heartedly. I'd be honored if you were to die for me. Ha ha. <laughs> all right, enough chit-chat. Okay, let's take care of our business partners, and then let's take care of the NDAs. Mm -hmm. All right, here's your money. Very funny. Consider it a down payment. 500 each. As always. And the product? Flush it down the toilet. Don't eat it. Hey guys! I have your payment.